Welcome to the fabulous, fierce, and feisty women in history. Here comes the second Downton Abbey movie, titled Downton Abbey, A New Era, to be released on May 18th in U.S. theaters, and many of us are just dying to see what comes next in this beloved world of the Crawleys and Downton Abbey. First, let's start with a brief recap of what happened in the first Downton Abbey movie, and then we'll get to what was left hanging and what we are dying to find out about in Downton Abbey 2, A New Era. In the 2019 Downton Abbey movie, set in 1927, a year after the events of the television series ended, the household went into chaos mode by the visit of King George V and Queen Mary. So much so that the servants rose up against the royal household, invading on their domain, which determined that they, and only they, were the ones to serve the king and queen. Then there was the drama upstairs when Tom Branson, the former chauffeur who married the late Lady Sybil, foiled an assassination attempt on the king. Finally, we find out that Lady Violet's cousin, Lady Maud Bagshaw, had an illegitimate daughter who turns out to be Lucy, the maid, and that Lady Violet, a.k.a. the Dowager Countess, plans to leave her estate to Lucy when she finds out she has cancer. With all of that, along with a few other plot threads left dangling, we are on the edge of our seats to see what comes next in Downton Abbey, A New Era. Here are the seven things that we are dying to see in the new Downton Abbey 2 movie. Stay to the end to find the most pressing question that we are all eager to have answered with great trepidation. 1. What happened to Lady Rose Aldridge? Lady Rose, played by Lily James, was the Crawley's kind-hearted, troublemaking cousin from the TV series in seasons 4 and 5. She was nowhere to be found in the Downton Abbey 2019 movie. Yes, we know that Lady Rose moved to America with her husband Atticus, but since they both managed to return to Downton for the series finale at the end of season 5, we are left wondering if she could possibly show up again since she was such a likable character. Here's hoping that we see her again. 2. Will Tom Branson marry Lucy Smith? Recalling that Lucy was the maid, but is really an illegitimate member of the Crawley lineage, we are eager to see if the budding relationship between she and the widower Tom Branson ends in a happy marriage. Tom is really the only one who understands Lucy's situation as a newly associated member of the upper crust since that was his lot as well, when he went from chauffeur to the husband of Lady Sybil. For seven years since the death of Lady Sybil, Tom has been happily raising their daughter while running an auto business with Mary's husband, Henry Talbot. But Tom and Lucy dancing the night away during the Harewood Ball leads us towards their eventual marriage with the suggestion that Tom would marry for love and not money. At this point, we'll just have to wait and see. Speaking of marriages, that brings us to our next question. Will Daisy and Andy get married as well? In the downstairs life of Downton Abbey, we find that Daisy, the cook's assistant, became engaged to the footman, Andy Parker, when all her doubts about Andy's gambling club incident were alleviated and she saw that he really did have ambition and passion, just as much as Daisy herself. We can safely say that the first Downton Abbey film was a clear setup for the wedding nuptials of Andy and Daisy. There might even be a spin-off series for these two likable characters from the downstairs. We can only hope. On that note, our next question is number four. Will Thomas Barrow find happiness? Thomas Barrow is perhaps the one character in the Downton Abbey series who undergoes the greatest personality change. At first, when the series began, we didn't like Thomas Barrow since he was seen as mean and manipulative and out, only for himself. And then we found out that he was really a miserable person who had to hide his sexuality until he met the king's valet, Richard Ellis, who was also a closeted gay man hiding in plain sight. Thomas and Richard tentatively develop a friendship when Richard introduces Thomas to the underground nightclub scene where gay men can go to be themselves. When the club was raided by police and Thomas was arrested, his new friend came to his rescue, deepening Thomas's trust and setting up the possibility of an even deeper friendship that could finally lead Thomas to happiness. 5. Will we see Lady Edith's new baby? In Downton Abbey 2019, Lady Edith Pelham announced that she and her husband Bertie are to have a baby. This created an issue because King George planned to send Bertie away, which meant he would miss the birth of his own child. 
Thankfully, Edith's mother, Lady Cora, took care of the situation, resulting in the king relieving Bertie from his responsibility. Edith isn't new to bearing children. As we found out in the TV series, she already has a daughter, Marigold, with a deceased lover named Michael Gregson, editor and publisher for a society magazine that Edith had written for. So, of course, we are eager to see Edith's new baby as well as follow her ambition to continue her work as a journalist along with being a mother. 6. Will Downton Abbey survive the coming 1929 London crash? The end of the first Downton Abbey film left us in 1927, two years shy of one of the most significant historical events of the global economy, the Great Depression. Since it all started in London stock market when the British stock market crashed on September 20, 1929, a full month before the Wall Street crash, it makes sense that the new film would want to focus on the effects of the crisis on the United Kingdom and its nobility. How will Downton Abbey cope amid this financial turmoil? Is it possible that Cora Crawley's wealthy American mother and brother will be wiped out by the crash in America and what will this mean for the estate? How will the Crawleys preserve their lifestyle in the face of a rapidly evolving social issue? And will the Downton Abbey downstairs staff become leaner, leading to the departure of many of our favorite characters? This will be an interesting storyline if they broach this subject. And last, we have a question that causes much trepidation among the fans of Downton Abbey. That is number seven. Will we have to watch the Dowager Countess, Lady Violet, die on screen? We last saw that Lady Violet tenderly confides in her granddaughter, Lady Mary, that she doesn't have much longer to live. Previously she had mysteriously traveled to London only to return home with the news that she has a terminal disease. At the end of the first movie, Violet tells Mary. Save your tears for something sad, because there's nothing sad here. I have lived a privileged and an interesting life, and now it's time to go. I'm leaving the family, and the place that I treasure in talented hands. This statement is clearly a setup for impending doom. But before any sadness, Downton Abbey, the new era will take us deeper into Lady Violet's past revealing that before Robert's father Lord Grantham, there was another man. And that man had left her a villa on the French Riviera. This is our one last chance to take in the wit and charm of Lady Violet, so I suggest you all steal yourself for what is coming and have fun with the new era in the 2022 Downton Abbey movie. Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe to the fabulous, fierce and feisty, Women in History.